Hello everyone, I am back today with another video and today it's going to be on this makeup look that I created. I decided to use this palette right here that I got in my box lock for the month of December. And this is the Violet Voss Pro eyeshadow palette and this is my very first time even using any of her shadows and I must say it was a pleasure using them because this palette right here it blended very very well so far with the colors that I did use I really enjoyed it they blended well very easy and it's a keeper I think yes I like it so if you are interested in this look that I created please stay tuned okay everyone and to begin this look we are going to start off with this color right here this one is called bestie and that is going to be my transitional color This is actually my very first time using this palette. I got this palette from my Boxy Lux, and I was so excited about using this one because I have none of her palettes, or really, I think I have maybe one lipstick. Okay, and my next color is going to be this one right here. Are you kidding me? And I am going to start off in my outer corner and come in. Okay, and my next color is going to be this one right here. This is um, Wine and Dine right here. And I have a, um, a flat brush that I'm going to go ahead and use because I just want to pack the color on my lids right here on my outer corner. And I want to go and go back in and blend it out. And of course, I already did my foundation and it's messing my face up so that's one thing I do hate about doing foundation first but I prefer to do my foundation first but this is the consequences I guess Okay, and I am going to take um, another brush. This is from Sigma, the E25 brush, and I'm going to blend this color in. I am um, dipping back into that color. And right now I'm going to go in and I'm going to blend all these colors together. I'm going to take my very first brush that I used and that was the Morphe M504 brush. And just blend. I may have to dip back into um, Bestie to make sure it blends out the way I want it to. But as of now I'm just going to go in with it just like this. And these colors really are blending out really, really easily. So as of now I'm loving this palette. Okay, and now that I have those colors blended, I usually would take a black to darken up my crease, but since there is no black in this palette, I'm just gonna go ahead with the darkest color in here, and I'm gonna use this brown right here. Um, this one is called Teddy Bear, and I'm gonna take um, this brush right here. It's just a flat brush. Um, I got this from the crayon case, and I'm just gonna dab a little bit of that color right here. And of course, I'm getting more fallout, which I really do hate. I guess I'm going to have to start trying to do my foundation after. Well, 
Okay, I'm gonna take that M433 brush that I used before and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that brownie color out. I actually shouldn't have used this brush. I should have used a, a, a smaller brush. That's what I'm going to go do. Since I, um, I didn't get too far. Hey, this would be a better brush. This is the M506 brush. And I'm going to go back in and add more product because I brushed it all off anyway. Okay, so it's time to clean up. I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer and use my Sigma F70 brush and clean up the mess I made with that shadow and all the fallout. Okay, and the next color that I'm going to go in with is going to be this one right here. This one is called On Fleek. And I have this brush right here. This is from LMR Cosmetics. It's a, a regular little flat brush. And I'm going to take that brush and apply it. Um, this is a pretty palette. I do have to say so myself. The colors are so pigmented. So I really, really like the color I just applied on my eyes. Really pretty. So now I'm going to take the brush that I use. This is the E25 brush. And I'm going to go in and blend my edges out. Because I don't like lines. I'm pretty sure none of us do. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that. Blend those two colors together. Just taking a little bit more of that color and adding it in that area, the pink color. When I decided to go ahead and finish the rest of my face. The only thing I did was obviously add my bronzer and my contour and my um, concealer and my blush. So that's what I did and I also add my highlight and I'm still trying to figure out if I like this. This is that um, Girl Lag Thick don't know if I like it but it is looking pretty today so yeah I also want to add this um I've been using this um product right here that I got in boxy Lux, and I noticed that my face has been breaking out I don't know if y'all can tell on camera but this stuff is like $89 and it broke me out what I've been using never breaks me out and it's very 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 inexpensive so I don't know what I'm going to do about um, this product. I know it's supposed to be good for anti-aging. And I started to use it in the morning. But I'm not feeling these bumps. I hardly ever break out. So I don't know. The price obviously doesn't mean anything when it comes to stuff like this. So I guess it just depends on, you know, your skin type and whatever. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to continue using it to see what's going on. But I can't deal with the breakout. So we will see. Okay, let's get back to the eyes and as you can see I put my lashes on already and I need to get to the bottom lower lashes so okay I have my um, NYX liner and I'm gonna go ahead and line the bottom part of my eyes okay so I'm gonna take this brush right here this is a Morphe brush I got this one a long time ago I really like this to um, do my lower lashes this is the M213 and this is what it looks like and I'm going to go in with Wine and Dine. And the next color I'm going to go in with is going to be this one right here. I'm going to use that as a highlight for my inner corner. I 
this is, I guess it's kind of cute. I guess. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Maybe I'm going to go over it with a different color to make it brighter. Okay, maybe I should go in with cool beans. Right on top of it. Okay, and let's do the lips. And y'all, of course, y'all know how I am when it comes to my coins. I waited until this was on sale for Black Friday and I said, you know what? This is probably gonna be the cheapest I'm gonna get because I don't like paying $24 for lipstick. And it's so big on YouTube, it's like, this is probably a YouTube made me buy it product because everybody was just bragging on it. So it's like, I have to try this and see how this performs. I have to. YouTube made me buy it. So let's see how this looks and feels. If it's all that like everybody else say it is. Okay. The doe foot is kind of weird, but um, I guess I kind of like it. I don't know if I like the lipstick yet because I haven't worn it long enough, but the color is okay, I guess. For me, I think I'm going to have to go in with a dark um, a lip liner because this is a little bit too light for my skin tone, so I'm not 100% feeling this color alone, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of... Um, one of my favorites, of course, this is BFF from um, ColourPop. And I'm going to add that. I actually like the color with the liner, but without, no, it's a no-go for me. But this is pretty. Okay, and this is my finished look. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and come back. Bye-bye.